Things aren't always what they seem. You think sardines are something that guys munch on crackers? What are we even doing here? King Oscar brand sardines. They're ubiquitous in the United States. They're known for being not too cheap, yet not too expensive. And today, I'm going to take a closer look. First up, we've got wild-caught, skinless and boneless sardines in olive oil. They're in a box. Matt loves a box. Talking about myself in the third person. That's healthy. Uh, let's just open them right up. Skinless and boneless, man. So I haven't reviewed a can of skinless and boneless since Canned Fish Files, episode one, Juicy Sardine Party, and uh, I can't even remember what I thought of them. People say that they're a little drier because the skin doesn't keep the moisture in. I don't know, I don't know if that's true, but uh, you look at them in here, yeah, they look like little naked sardines. Okay, first of all, tastes great. Yeah, kind of, um, kind of a little drier. Kind of feels like you're eating um, uh, chicken breast or something, versus uh, when you eat a whole sardine with all the skin and bones in there. You feel like you're getting a chicken thigh, and uh, there's all this kind of good juice and fat in there. Still though, great taste. I think this is ideal for any year. Sardine recipes where uh, presentation isn't a big deal. You know, you just need the fish to be there. Maybe this is also uh, something for, you know, people that think they need to eat sardines because of some kind of health thing. They are going keto or something, but they can't get past like the skin and the bones. Personally, I would never eat these uh, because you can't take them out and play with them. You can't you can't pretend that they're swimming around. You can't rip their spines out and eat them. They're just no fun. But these are good. And I bet the consistency is really good if you had a bunch of cans of these. Hmm. And the price is right too. Nothing skunky or funny or fishy about these at all. Nothing to write home about, but uh why would you write home about sardines anyway? On the next one. Wild caught sardines in extra virgin olive oil. Finest bristling sardines. Now, these were kind of expensive. These were 450, but um, I don't know. If there is a flagship can for King Oscar, I would say it's bristling sardines in olive oil, right? I mean, it seems like this should be their thing. So I'm expecting um, a big deal out of these because golly, 450, I got them at Stop and Shop. Okay, well looky here. They're laying here so nice, it's like somebody braided some hair or something like that. Look how pretty they're sitting in there. And they look so supple. Let's see what happens when we kind of touch them up. They feel firm, man. If you could feel what I'm feeling, it's like I'm uh, going over some speed bumps or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to mark them up too much, but they dealt with that well. Now I'm going to pull one out of here. Yeah, he's hanging together fine. Look how pretty and little he is. Yeah. Mmm, delish. Uh, very pronounced flavor with the olive oil. The smokiness is really coming through. Uh, almost kind of a bitter smokiness um, on this first couple of ones.
that one was a little bit better. But sometimes the smokiness comes through and it's like this little, little pinch. These aren't running away with my heart. Take them apart, see what we got. Nice little spine. See what we got in here. Just normal fishy insides. Now that I've eaten 20 of them or something, they're fading into the background of my consciousness. The thing I didn't like about them before has sort of receded. Kind of like when you um, you drink a, a few uh, Budweiser's and at first you think, ugh, this is kind of skunky beer, but after you're at the cookout for a while, you've had a few of them. Uh, they don't taste so bad anymore. That's what's happening to me. I'm drunk on fish. Just one little can of King Oscar sardines has more calcium than eight ounces of milk. So women are the ones who need calcium for good bones. Nice. Intermission time. King Oscar. Royal fillets. Mackerel in olive oil. They have a bunch of different kinds of mackerel and I didn't want to like use up all our time talking about mackerel because it's not as fun as sardines, but I thought we'd take a look at this just to uh, check out some of the breadth of the King Oscar line of products, right? So we see some fairly uh, pale looking mackerel here. Um, have I ever had mackerel in olive oil? I think I just have like Asian style, but um, here we go, look at it. Mm. Big fish, really stuck in there. Olive oil looks good. Yeah, man. Let me just take a bite. Delish. Man, I'm almost I'm almost disappointed that it's not more fishy or more something. This is really some straight down the middle. Ooh, that was kind of a fatty bit there. Um, straight down the middle can fish. This is definitely some stuff to give somebody if they're like, well, I like fish, but eating it out of a can is kind of ewy and you're like, Brother, let me show you this stuff. You're gonna get into it. Uh, this is fantastic. Oh, we got some real dark looking pieces here, huh? I don't know what that's gonna be like. And I know I said royal fillets at the beginning, but it's not got no bones. Real good, easy eating. Hmm, hmm. Wow, wonderful texture. Um, we don't talk about flaky in canned fish, but this is kind of getting there. You know, these sort of cleaves of the meat are really apparent and there's little fat deposits here and there. Mm. And the, um, the oil's kind of doing its thing too. Look at this, like, I know this is gonna be good, you know, yeah. That was super good. Man, I wasn't even hungry and I really enjoyed that. Uh, maybe one of the best King Oscar products that uh, I've had. So if you see this stuff in the supermarket, it looks like some uh, canned cat food or whatever. Pick it up, you're gonna love it. Finally, wild caught sardines, Mediterranean style. Extra virgin olive oil, herbs of Provence, red bell pepper, black olives, and garlic, finest bristling sardines. One layer. All right. This is the can that I was looking forward to the most. Uh, because I think I like Mediterranean style sardines. I like it when they put a little bit of, you know, 
spice and flavor in here with them. And looky here, we got some olives just hanging out with our sardines. Maybe this is what these deans need, it's uh, some friends. When the can first opened, I got, ooh, the quickest smell of sort of the herbaceousness, you know? I don't think that's what the word herbaceous means. Um, but it disappeared. It should stay, it should stay. That smell should fill the room, whatever. Okay, let's just taste some of this stuff. Good tasting, good tasting stuff. All of here kind of has the um, consistency of a decent pizza olive, you know. Hey, some slightly bigger boys. Uh, kind of pretty color here. See, I like them when they're bigger because I get a little bit more to look at. You know, there's just more to talk about. Here we can take them out, we can swim them around. Yeah. Yeah, swim to daddy. Woo, all right. I'll tell you what, man. I don't mean to be a bummer. Uh, these are good, these are good. But it's almost like you just got some King Oscar sardines and they're wearing like sort of a Mediterranean costume. I can taste this little assembly of herbs, but it's just not hitting me up there. And I don't know if that's because they used some stuff when they canned them, they used some stuff that's dry and maybe had been sitting around for a while, so the more uh, smelly elements had sort of evaporated away. These are good little attractive fish though. I don't know, man. I don't know. So you see what we got inside? Oh yeah, look at that. Nice spine action. Spine's just kind of there. Yeah. They're not mushy. I mean, the, the texture just kind of goes away once it's in your mouth. They don't fight back, you know? Here's the last one. Rice tea. Get your share of the nibbles. Tuna's not the only fish in the sea. Oscar sardines from Norway. So out of these four cans, the mackerel was my favorite. The skinless and boneless, kind of strike those off the list anyway. EVOO, I don't know, they were just kind of whatever. And the Mediterraneans, well, there's all kinds of Spanish and Portuguese brands that got a lock on the Mediterranean thing. So I don't even know what these are doing here. Tell me what you think. Am I being too harsh on old King Oscar? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. Well, it looks like I got my mega threes for the day, but what about tomorrow? Don't worry, on the docket, we got Fishwife, Lucis, Patagonia, Briosa, and more. Make sure you subscribe if you don't want to miss a thing. Bye bye.